Yo, what's up guys? M here hitting you up with a new video. And today I wanted to talk to you about the perception stat and what it actually does. Before we start talking about perception, I wanted to let you know that I spent roughly 200,000 gold for the testings I did. So I appreciate every single like and comment for this video, as well as if you didn't subscribe to the channel, feel free to subscribe, it's free. The reason why I'm doing this video now is because I saw a couple of videos on YouTube already floating around um, talking about the perception stats. I think I watched around three or four different videos about the perception stat and not a single video really explained in detail what the perception stat does. Everybody came to the same conclusion that it deals more damage or that, that they feel like it deals more damage. I have a definitive answer to that. So to explain my testing, I did it on an even ground. The test I did was I used a the Kasaka SR weapon level one with no ascension. So we the numbers don't get screwed by uh, increased precision on the weapon. So for me personally, I have 325 total stat points, which I can realign the way I wanted to. So for build one, I was using the above. I put in 159 points into attack, 110 points into agility. I had a precision stat of 63. And for the testing, for the damage testing purposes, what I did is I went to chapter eight, the Igris fight and attacked Igris with my first hit to get the first damage number up, as well as going to at the same chapter, the level 27, the first one to attack a enemy which did not have a shield up. So for the first one with the Igris build with these stats, I got damage output of roughly 420 damage with no crit and with 480 damage with a crit. For ease of use and for the show, uh, purpose of the showcase today, I did not include every single screenshot, but you will see one more down below. Uh, you can trust I did all the testings. Then for build two, I realigned my stats. Build two was I put every single point I had into attack, 340. Uh, I did put nothing into precision, so it was 63%. And for Igris, the damage was 530 damage, while against the enemies, which had no shield, the damage was roughly 1,100 damage. Build free, I put every single point into the perception stat, which equals then to 99%. And on Igris, I did around 320 damage, while doing on the no shield enemies, I did 960 damage. Build four was I put 194 points into attack and 170 points into precision, which equals 91%. So for the damage against Igris, I dealt 437 damage and against the enemies with no shield, it was 1200 damage. So as you can tell, it's already a similar damage to build one because the attack value was almost equal. Then for build five, I removed the precision. I did 179 points into attack, 175% uh, points into agility nothing into the precision, 63, and we dealt 420 damage, no crit, while we crit for 500 to 600. And on the no shield enemies, we did 1100, while the damage on a crit was 1500 to 1600. So by doing the tests, I came to the following conclusion what perception actually does. So perception is the results in this game is basically all about the damage fluctuation. Because this game does not have fixed values, I did some tests. So basically I have an example. Um, your first hit in this game can deal between 100 to 200 damage. There is no fixed value for that. 
So it's not like you will always do the same number of damage. It's not the case. But here's the thing. When it comes to perception, the higher the percentage, which 99% is the max value, because I tested, I don't think you can reach 100. I put literally everything with weapons, couldn't reach 100. I think 99 is actually the max value. Uh, you get closer to 200 damage on average. So what perception actually does is because you have a damage fluctuation in the game, the, the higher the, the, the your per, uh, perception stat is, that allows you to hit your maximum number, like your potential maximum number of damage. So in result, that means that what people thought that it does increase the damage. No, perception does not increase your damage. But what perception does is the perception stat, da, what it in reality does is um, the damage per second does increase. Because your damage doesn't uh, change through the perception stat, you still deal the same damage. But through the perception stat, if you have a higher value, you can hit your max value damage and that's why your DPS is higher. So after making these numbers, I readjusted my stats. If you want to copy it, feel free. You can do so. So this is how I realigned my stats. I put 139 in total points into strength, 90 into agility, 70 into perception, and 75 into intelligence. 75 into intelligence is the sweet spot because it gives me exactly 2% cooldown reduction and I'm running the very decent um, accessory set so I get a total of 20% uh, percent, um, cooldown reduction if you didn't uh, see it already I just uploaded a accessory guide on YouTube um, where you can see what I'm talking about so in total you can see here my stats 8100 attack I have a precision stat of 89% critical hit rate of almost 16% critical hit damage of 125% and a cooldown reduction of 2%. So I hope that clarifies everything you wanted to know about the perception stat and what it actually does. So feel free to share this video um, because this is literally everything the precision stat does is just helping you receiving the maximum amount of damage on average. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Deuces.